one which is really core for this current situation and this current context is really having this focus on um, driving women's economic empowerment, which entails for us um, as an organization to really secure income security, decent work and economic autonomy. But I think the private sector particularly has a huge role um, to play um, when it comes to economic participation or equal participation. We have a great program um, in the Philippines for the moment between the EU and, and um, UN Women and a lot of other partners and like um, Makati Business Car uh, Club and other organizations in the Philippines, which just has started. In this uh, time of COVID-19, um, the commitment that we're uh, continuing to get from uh, the, the EU and you as partners uh, on board this program is really indispensable. The, the women's equal participation is at risk if we do not take gender sensitive measures uh, in fight against this global crisis. And while we are, and many of us are uh, today at, at home, uh, many women are disproportionately in the front lines to fight against this crisis. Um, our response to coronavirus is a reminder of the essential contribution of women at all levels, including healthcare providers, frontline workers, volunteers, logistics managers, or even women in very precarious, lower paid sectors. Women are left out right now. We really have a real big risk to really deliver this business case and to really help the economy to recover. We need to be more sensitive to women's needs at homes as uh, they now um, turn it into a workplace. Previous crises show that crises like COVID-19 can put women at greater risk of exploitation and sexual violence, domestic violence. Psychosocial support should be available for women and their families who may be affected by the outbreak and are also gender-based violence survivors. This includes promoting flexible hour and flexible working arrangements uh, for women with the burden of care. Asia Pacific, women do at least twice as much unpaid care work as men, and women are at risk to lose the jobs because they are taking care of their children and elderly during this crisis. We need to acknowledge that women are hit harder and are at risk of their livelihoods from COVID-19. This downtime could be the right time for companies to reflect on their entire values chains, especially in sectors with high female uh, labor participation. Through the EU-funded We Empower Asia program implemented by UN Women, we hope to join forces with you in taking this agenda forward. Initiatives like We Empower Asia that started way before give us now the opportunity to really um, work together, UN governments, businesses, entrepreneurs, um, and the wider ecosystem. We encourage companies to implement the women's empowerment principles. This has become even more important in the times of COVID-19. It is time to advance women's voice in decision-making. We are counting on your active engagement with, with We Empower Asia, especially now.